Well, another day in quarantine means another Avengers project video, I suppose. But regardless, welcome back, true believers, and all you merry Marvelites to another interesting, but also really irritating Marvel's Avengers-related video. Now, of course, we are still currently waiting for some actual news tailored to this game. If you've been staying up to date with any recent updates, you would be aware that we could potentially be receiving some news about the game from Square Enix sometime in June of this year during IGN summer of gaming event which is supposed to be a replacement event for e3 and even though we don't know whether or not anything could happen in the remaining month of april or next month in may there is a possibility that we could receive something official for marvel's avengers in june which is a ways off but we don't know until it actually happens and we see it for ourselves however there has been some very odd and extremely frustrating marketing choices from square enix that have happened very recently that I do want to discuss about because it's absolutely mind-boggling to me that they're getting away with this and even doing it in the first place and just seeing how this game isn't in the best spot right now in terms of its public reception from general fans and consumers and seeing this move that they did to try and promote the game a bit more totally backfired on them and just made me even more confused for the overall status of the game as a whole. But first, let's analyze with the publisher of the game itself with Square Enix. And if you know, they usually like to market one big game at a time. And what big game just released from them? It's a small indie title, I don't know if you heard of it, um, Final Fantasy VII's Remake. You know, um, yeah, yeah I, I've never really heard of this, of this game, you know, until recently. I'm kidding, obviously, but basically... This is their golden goose. I mean, Final Fantasy VII, if you are unaware, it's their biggest franchise out of their entirety of games. It just came out finally on April 10th, 2020. People have been dying to play this game for ages now. It's finally out, and of course, they would want to have that game out for the public to experience a for a little bit until they start fully diving into their next big project to market. And obviously, the same fan base who is going out to buy Final Fantasy VII and the audience that that game tailors to is not exactly the same audience that could be tailoring for the Avengers and the audience of Marvel slash comic book fans slash superhero fans. Uh, you also have like the JRPG fans of Final Fantasy VII Remake who also may be into superheroes, but basically these are two extremely different types of games, one of which is a fully single-player AAA experience, and also Avengers, which a lot of people are still confused about, but in case you're unaware, it is a single-player experience with live service elements and co-op multiplayer aspects as well. We haven't seen any of that in action yet, except for the one tutorial mission that the game features on A-Day, and that's it. We also have had an overview trailer of different multiple aspects that will be featured in the game, which released in October of 2019, which we're definitely going to be talking about again in a few minutes. And recently, the most recent news, you could say, that came out from this game is the pre-order information in February of 2020, diving into emotes and character nameplates and alternate skins and deluxe edition add-ons that you can input within the game for buying different editions of the game even though they're talking about multiplayer elements that the game will feature without us having even seen any of the multiplayer gameplay at all beforehand which is a very strange choice that i believe that they've made and very confusing for the general consumer who may not even be aware of the type of game that this is. If you are aware, like if you watch my channel's videos or just stay up to date with news, this isn't open world, this isn't fully single player, this isn't a, you know, type of game that you would expect like an Ultimate Alliance or Spider-Man, but rather it's trying to be a hybrid of games like that, but also with other live service online types of multiplayer games like Anthem and Destiny, which is not good. Those aren't games that you want to compare this Avengers title to, and yet it has been compared to those games from people who have actually been able to play it and see it behind closed doors numerous times. So that already is having this game be set in a very odd perception from the public and already getting mixed feedback from general consumers because they're not describing to people all the other aspects that the game will feature. We haven't seen co-op, we don't know what the story is outside of A-Day, even the fact that the Avengers disassemble and we have to reassemble them as Kamala Khan. Some people still don't even know that Kamala Khan is in fact the main protagonist of the entire story. And yet, for some reason, they, the main publisher, Square Enix, 
doesn't actually want to advocate that to the people. We've only seen that in certain tweets from developers, and if you really look closely at certain behind-the-scenes videos, then they kind of elate to the fact that, oh, she's extremely important. But again, it's not that she's super important. She is, in fact, the main character of the entirety of the game. So, already, just brace yourself if you don't want to actually see the main Avengers in action, but instead, see the Avengers in action, but mainly focus on the main narrative tailored to Kamala Khan. So that's just one thing, in the plethora of other things that this game will feature, that the marketing has not even closely explained throughout the entirety of the production and publishing aspects that this game has. But basically, the main thing that I'm trying to say is that the overall marketing of this game has been a disappointment. It's been an extreme disappointment for me personally as someone who I actually am studying in the courses of advertising and marketing at San Francisco City College as of right now and also just promoting things is kind of what I do here on this channel and analyzing news and going about things in depth. That's my thing. And seeing how they're going about it for the Avengers is very, very saddening to see as someone who actually wants to play this game. I want to see this game do good, and they're not really going about it in the best of ways. Particularly, with the main news that we're discussing today, is the overview trailer again. And what I mean by this is that if you are unaware, Square Enix does have their own website, and you can register to sign up for updates that the website will provide to you via email. So basically, if you sign up, you'll receive updates on any new games that they're making that you are probably interested in like Final Fantasy VII Remake or Marvel's Avengers. And I signed for, up for it a while ago, you know, back during um, Comic-Con of last year, San Diego Comic-Con 2019, I signed up for their newsletter to receive updates for the game when they could announce some, you know, exciting news or interesting updates with the PlayStation info, which we did receive already during the pre-order information was revealed. So they update the fans on stuff that is happening on the status of their games. And... As you already know, like I said previously, one of the main trailers that related to Marvel's Avengers was the overview trailer that was basically breaking down different aspects of the game in its entirety. We got co-op, we got gear customization, we got single player, we got different characters and different movesets, little tiny glimpses into the world of the game. Like, okay, maybe we will learn more about that as the days go by, as the weeks go by. And so far, no. No, uh, no. We haven't. We haven't in the slightest. And... For some unknown, unfathomable reason, Square Enix decided to do the genius move of posting the same six-month-old trailer again on the official Marvel's Avengers YouTube channel and send out a public newsletter via email to all of its customers and consumers saying that this was something new. The latest update for Marvel's Avengers is a six-month-old trailer that we've already seen and the only thing that's new about it is the fact that they changed the release date because before, that overview trailer released when the game was originally set to release on May 15th. And now the game got delayed till May 15th to September 4th, so now they had to switch out the, you know, previous release date for the newer updated release date. Instead of receiving something new, like co-op information, or just more story details, or heck, even a glimpse into how the gear and upgrading system works, we see, yet again, the same repeated footage we've already seen a thousand times over. And for me personally, again, this is very strange, and also it makes me as a consumer, if I was just a general consumer and not a general huge Marvel fan that I am, I would think that the impression that I receive right now is that they don't care. Or, in fact, it generally seems to me like that they forgot, almost, that they're making a huge AAA Avengers game that most people are pretty interested in to see how it plays out, at least. Not excited or hyped like Spider-Man was, for example, or even the unknown, unannounced Batman game from Wonder Bros. Montreal, which has, shockingly, more excitement than currently is going on for Avengers. But people love Marvel, people love superheroes, I love superheroes, and we want to see more major AAA Marvel games be released, like Iron Man VR. Sadly, that got delayed indefinitely, but that game looked awesome. Ultimate Alliance 3, whatever you may think of it, at least it's more Ultimate Alliance, so that's fun. Spider-Man PS4, literally a masterpiece in my opinion. And Marvel's Avengers, which I was at first interested in and excited for, now... Not so much, especially seeing how they're going about promoting it in a very odd and tasteless way just makes it seem like even the people over at Square Enix 
trying to say this is a brand new experience. It's like what the director of the game, the creative director, Sean Sky, said. It's an entirely new organism. And the fact that they're trying to showcase these assets that scream identical tastes and gameplay mechanics to games like Destiny and Anthem makes me very, very skeptical and cautious to the final product that they are making. And I, for one, am not fond of how they're going about promoting this game. If I have to see A-Day or the overview trailer one more time, I'm not going to be interested in playing the game. I will buy the game and play it for myself, but I myself will not be excited to play it. You understand what I mean? I'll see it just to see if it's good or not. I won't be playing it like, oh, I'm excited for the Avengers game. No, I'll be playing it for like, well, it was interesting at first, and hopefully the final product can live up to my expectations, but we'll see how this plays out. Now I'm just like, hopefully we don't see any more A-Day the next time we actually get a footage reveal of this game. And again, Final Fantasy VII Remake just came out. There's a lot of developers working from home due to the current pandemic, so you can't blame them necessarily for not actually focusing on it as much compared to the other games that are currently out and finished being developed, like Final Fantasy, and who knows how the development status is going on for Avengers behind the scenes. Again, we don't know if it could get delayed again in the future due to the virus, but still, actively promoting the game with old footage that you know is old, and the fact that IGN reposted it claiming that it was new and it wasn't, which I'll show a tweet up here of what they posted saying to look at the overview trailer when it wasn't anything new at all, it still is a very shocking thing to see actually happen for a game this big this is supposedly the definitive avengers gaming experience like what we've been told since day one and the fact that everyone at the studios at square are saying like we have this on lock like this is going to be the best game ever yosuke matsuda i believe his name is the president of square enix said that this will outdo spider-man ps4 and the arkham games in terms of its storytelling and sales so okay um I don't know for sure anymore. I really don't know for sure. It, and it's it's very shocking to see this happen for a game this big with new content added for years on, which will continuously engage players in this ever-expanding world that fans will love to dive into for years to come. All this stuff, all this talk means nothing unless they show something to back it up. And I'm just kind of getting a little bit frustrated talking about it if you hear it in my voice because I'm genuinely passionate about stuff like this, about games like this, that are being made. And to see it be treated in such a way with such lack of care, essentially, in terms of how at least it's being promoted, is a bit not insulting, but just, again, disappointing. We still have about five months to go until September 4th, less than five months. Um, and of course, again, there's going to be the online beta, which will release probably in August. So players around the world can get their hands on the game and see if they actually like it for themselves. As well as getting 72-hour uh, access, 3-day early access to the game before its initial release if you pre-order the Deluxe Edition or Collector's Edition of it, which is already strange in itself. But again, this is just crazy to see happen. I really am just kind of let down here, uh, especially with no other major news going on it, with any other game happening. This is the main game that I'm personally interested in as of right now. And to see it be handled in such a way is just shocking to say the least. But regardless, that was my two cents on the recent scenario that is occurring right now with the marketing of Marvel's Avengers with the overview trailer being reposted and coming off as like it's new footage. When really it's not at all in the slightest, which is very odd to see and just kind of upsetting as someone who actually is interested in the marketing or at least the progress of this game's status. And we'll see, you know, who knows if something will happen in May with news for the game, or possibly June during IGN's Summer of Gaming event, or maybe the remainder of April. I don't know, but I just kind of had to put this rant out there just to tell you guys how I'm feeling about this, and hopefully the situation improves better and actually updates fans with real news about the game until people just kind of drop off with interest completely. Because that, for a fact, is already happening if you read the comments on IGN's Twitter page, and if you can see in the unlisted version of the video that they post on their YouTube channel, which was public and now they made it unlisted, a lot of people are upset with everything that's going on. I will leave links to everything I just mentioned and discussed in the description below. But still, hopefully things can get better before they get worse. But until next time, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Stay merry, Marvelites. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Peace out.